Hi, my name is Brenda Davis and I'm co-author along with Vasanto Molina of Becoming Vegan Express Edition. And one of the very first questions that most new vegans or even vegetarians get asked is where do you get your protein? We have so many great plant sources of protein that I think this question gets a little frustrating for vegans. How can we respond when someone asks us this question in a way that's compassionate and helpful for them? Uh, so what I like to remind people of is that vegans and vegetarians get their protein from the very same places that some of the largest, strongest animals on the planet get their protein. Think about it, rhinoceroses, elephants, hippopotamuses, gorillas, all seem to manage to build their big, huge muscles without a single ounce of animal protein. And so can we. So where do we get our protein? Well, let's take a look at some of these foods and talk about how much protein they have. First of all, we need to know how much protein we need. Well, people need about 10 to 15% of calories from protein. If you look at legumes, whether it's lentils or other beans, these are lima beans, black beans, uh, pinto beans, navy beans, mung beans, all legumes provide somewhere between 20 and 40% of their calories from protein. Peas are rich sources of protein as well. Uh, nuts and seeds, seeds especially, like pumpkin seeds and hemp seeds are very high in protein. Some of the, uh, the soy products like edamame, which are green soybeans, tempeh and tofu are about 39-40% of calories from protein. We have uh, veggie meats like uh, burgers and these, these are Gardein uh, turkey cutlets. Well, these kinds of veggie meats provide about 50 to 80% of calories from protein, so they're very protein-rich foods. Uh, one of the things that, that isn't so high in protein is uh, fruits. So fruits might have about 2 to 10% of calories from protein. Starchy vegetables are the other foods that are a little bit low in protein, maybe 8 to 10, 12% of calories from protein. Even grains provide some 9 to 17% of calories from protein. So the bottom line is if you eat a variety of whole plant foods and you get enough calories, generally you will not have to worry about getting enough protein. Really there are only two ways of blowing it. One is not getting enough calories and the other is eating mainly junk food. So foods that are really high in sugar, high in oil, or eating a, a raw fruit-based diet, uh, you may end up being low in protein. Otherwise, if you're eating whole foods, you can rest assured that your protein needs will be met. And if you're skeptical about building big muscles with plant protein, just take a look at some of the buff vegan bodybuilders. There's a website called uh, veganbodybuilding.com and you can take a look at all kinds of people who've managed to build huge muscles with solely plant protein. So, and again, if you're wanting to get more information on protein and a lot of the details about the protein content of foods and quality of protein issues, take a look at Becoming Vegan Express Edition. We have an entire chapter on protein and also an entire chapter on athletes. So do make sure you get a copy and thanks so much for listening.